With the holidays reeling in, we can expect the Melbourne, Florida real estate market to slow down. But is that the case in all areas? Hi folks, my name is Ben, a real estate agent working out of Melbourne, Florida, bringing you another real estate market report for the month of November. Let's start with Vieira West. Contrary to what we saw last month, Vieira West actually remains a fast market. In October, it looked like the market was stabilizing, but now it seems that supply still hasn't quite caught up with the demand. The average median sold price has risen by 7.2% to be exact. Conversely, the average price per square foot has dropped by 6.1% which could mean that buyers are getting more house for their money. The average number of days has dropped drastically by 42% from 31 days in October to only 18 days in November. It shows that buyers are still very much attracted to the Vieira area and they're willing to pay more if they have to. As I mentioned in the previous market report, especially pool and waterfront properties in Vieira West had gone through the roof during the summer seller's market, so it's no surprise that waterfront homes went down another 19%. However, pool homes actually went up a little with a 3.4% increase. Condos continued to go up by 13.2% to 291500 now coming towards Vieira East and the Northern Suntree area, again after the price drop last month, prices went back up in November. The median sold price increased by 5.2% since the start of November, with the price per square foot also increasing slightly by 2.3%. The average days on the market have gone up by 3 days compared to last month. So overall we're seeing a strong market in Vieira East that is little by little balancing out from the overheated summer market. Pool homes are still in high demand here, going up again by 17.2%, coming out just under 600,000. Both waterfront homes and condos have seen a slight drop in prices, 3.9 and 6.1%. And before we get to the next area, if you find these monthly market reports helpful and you want to see more updates, please let me know by hitting the like button and subscribe to our channel to see whenever we publish a new video about Melbourne, Florida. Okay, moving on, let's talk about Suntree South. The real estate market continued its downward trend in November with a 5.9% drop in median sold price and a 3.5% decrease in price per square foot. The number of days on the market for listings increased by 2 days in November to 24 days. Despite the overall dip, prices are on the rise for pool homes here. The average sold price for pool homes was up 14.9% from last month. There was only one waterfront home for sale in November going for roughly a million dollars. Also, only one condo was sold during the month at 165k. Overall, with the 5.9% correction, the Suntree South market is heading in a more buyer friendly direction. Coming towards Pineda and Lake Washington, this area is looking really interesting. We saw some corrections in October, but as of now, the market price has increased. The median sold price rose by a margin of 3.6%, whereas price per square foot went down 3.2%, again indicating that buyers are getting more bang for their buck. However, what really stands out is the average days on the market, which rose sharply by 33.3%. After last month's drop, the increase correlates with the overall rising absorption rate and less sales overall. There was only one waterfront home that sold nearly 23% higher than last month's median. Pool homes only saw a 0.6 increase in price and there were no sales for condos. Overall the area is looking slightly competitive. Moving on, we've got Lake Washington South. The median sold price for homes in this area went up again this month, increasing by 5.8% from last month's median. This is a good indication that the market is still quite strong, but we will continue to observe it closely as we move into 2023. Prices per square foot also increased by 7.9%, reaching $232 per square foot, which might have added to the time it takes to sell homes in this area. The days on the market increased by a whooping 155% from 20 days in October to 51 days in November. Pool home sales saw an increase of 2.9% while waterfront homes decreased by 34.8%. There were no comparable sales for condos this month. So what does all this mean? While the Lake Washington market remains strong, it becomes less fast paced, which could improve the overall experience for buyers. Okay, let's check out what's going on in Northeast Melbourne, Florida. Home prices in the Palm Shores region dropped by 7.3%, with the price per square foot also declining by 13.4%. The market is obviously stabilizing from the sudden 35% spike we saw last month in this area. However, the demand remains high with the average days on the market dropping back to just 14 days. This market is selling very fast with 30% lower days on the market. Pool homes, however, continue to drop in price 
supplies in the northeast area, this month declining by nearly 9%. Only one waterfront home and condo was sold in the month of November, so not much to compare here. And by the way, if you want to buy or sell a home in Melbourne, Florida or the Space Coast, you can call or text me 24-7. The contact info is always in the description below. Anyways, let's get back to the market report. After we saw a price increase last month in the O'Galley district of Melbourne, Florida, the median sold price has decreased by 10% in November. However, the price per square foot has increased by 5.1%. So it looks as if at least part of the overall price drop is due to buyers purchasing homes with a smaller square footage. That's also supported by the days on the market, which have dropped by 15.4%, meaning houses sell within a mere 22 days in O'Galley. Pool home prices have increased by 1.4%, whereas waterfront homes decreased again by 8.2%, and condos also decreased by 13.9%. What does this mean for buyers and sellers? It means that despite the overall price decrease, the continuous rise in price per square foot in combination with the dropping days on the market would still indicate a seller-friendly market, but we'll be looking forward to see what happens in the upcoming months. Moving on, now let's talk about central Melbourne. Taking a quick look at this month's stats, we see prices dropping across the board in this area. The median sold price dropped by 10.1%, the largest correction so far out of all the areas in Melbourne. The price per square foot has also dropped by 5.4%, bringing it down to $194. Home sold three days faster in November, so inventory is still selling fast at a lower price. Both waterfront homes and condos saw a massive drop this month. Waterfront homes went down by 51.8%, whereas condos went down by 60.2%. There were no comparable sales for pool homes for the month of November. Now what about the city of West Melbourne? The median sold price increased by 3.7% for the month of November in West Melbourne. The price per square foot decreased by 1.9% from 206 in October to 202 in November. The days on the market increased by 12.5%, but houses still sell within 27 days, which is still very fast. The median sold price for pool homes decreased by 14.1%, while the median sold price for condos decreased by 15.6%. Waterfront homes saw a massive drop this month to 305,000, a 37.1% decrease in October. So overall, the West Melbourne market remains solid with a slight increase in median sold prices. However, the correction of pool and waterfront homes has also made its way to West Melbourne. And before we get to the summary, let's take a look at the market situation in Melbourne Beach. The Melbourne Beach real estate market is on fire with median sold prices up a massive 38 8.6%. The price per square foot also increased by 9.7%, which probably caused the days on the market to go up to 43 days. However, while overall prices are rising in Melbourne Beach, prices for pool and waterfront homes also see strong corrections. The average sold price for pool homes dropped by 32.2%, while the average sold price for waterfront homes also decreased by 30.6%. There was only one condo that sold for 2.68 million, so that's not comparable. However, we are in a seller's market in Melbourne Beach, with prices rising overall. Pool homes and waterfront homes finally saw some price corrections after the overheated summer market. And now with the detailed market report out of the way, let's take a step back and try to figure out what all these stats mean. Overall, we can see that the absorption rate in Melbourne, Florida remains low with only 1.84 months worth of inventory, which still indicates a strong seller's market. Just as a reference, according to Investopedia, a six month absorption rate is considered a balanced market. The average median selling price for the month of November dropped by 4.8%. The price per square foot also fell slightly by 1.3%. So overall things are easing up a bit for buyers. And while the days on the market went up a day, inventory is still selling really fast with only 27 days on the market. And as I explained before, especially the markets for pool and waterfront homes were drastically overheated during the summer. Hence, we're seeing the correction specifically with these property types. While pool homes had a strong correction last month, they are actually up 7.9% this month. However, the median sold price for waterfront homes is down by 18.1% and 16.7% for condos. Again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our hyper local market reports. And if you want to buy or sell a home here in Melbourne or on the Florida Space Coast, you can send me a text message 24-7. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching and see you soon.